Hey, what's up guys? It's Rachel. Welcome to my channel. It is officially one week until Black Friday, which means Thanksgiving and the Black Friday weekend and the holiday season is officially upon us. And if you're a reseller, you probably have been going crazy listing and sourcing and gearing up, getting your sales ready. I've been a part-time reseller for over 10 years. This is my, I think, 11th year. And I wanted to kind of just share with you guys some tips that work for my business or just my points of view in regards to the Black Friday weekend from a reseller perspective. It's overwhelming. It's a lot. If this is your first time experiencing Black Friday weekend as a reseller, you might have anxiety about like what's the right thing to do or what's going to work out best. You know, you want to seize the opportunity. So I wanted to just share a few tips and things that work for me in hopes that it helps you. So if you like content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. I love sharing my reseller life on here, unboxings, thrift hauls, what sold videos, tips and tricks in general. So do subscribe and um, drop me a like if you find this helpful at any point, it would really help me out. So let's get right into it. Um, number one, if you have not already, cross post your listings. I can't stress this enough. It's like number one rule of thumb. I use lists perfectly. I know there are a couple different different ones out there. List perfectly is what works for me. I'm telling you it's a game changer. Your life will never be the same. Right now, more than ever, people are shopping secondhand. It's just a fact. And plus there's supply chain issues and all kinds of stuff. And people might not be able to get what they want in the retail stores or whatever. So they're going to seek items online. So number one, first and foremost, get your items in front of your audience. Cross post them eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Etsy, Tradesy, whatever it is that you have that can go on these different platforms, get it there. I do have a code for List Perfectly if you want to give it a try, 30% off your first month. If you're only selling on one platform and you need a quick and easy way to get your items cross posted to other platforms, now is the time. I swear you'll love it. You'll never go back. Um, it will change your reseller life. So get on that if you have not already. First and foremost, you want to have your items in front of as many people, as many buyers as you possibly can. Also too, right along those lines, delist and relist your older inventory. So if you have like seasonal items, fall, winter items, holiday items that you listed like last year that maybe have been sitting around, um, in addition to getting your items out there, delist and relist. Now I would prioritize listing your new items or cross posting items that have never been cross posted. Do that first. But once you're all set with that, start delisting and relisting some of those older items. I know this week I'm going to be going through and delisting and relisting boots, coats, sweaters, all of that stuff that needs to be fresh in front of people right now. I do delist on Mercari and Poshmark. I have not yet ever delisted and relisted on eBay, but I think I might give it a try just for some of those really older items that I want to move. Stay tuned. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, list perfectly. You can also delist and relist very quickly from the catalog. So it, again, if you're using a cross posting service like list perfectly to cross post, also use it to delist and relist. Um, you will make your items fresh and get them in front of more people. A lot of people ask, should I run a sale? Well, I guess it depends on what platform we're talking about. So for me, and again, these are my opinions and what works for me. This is not everybody, right? I, I see a lot of people trying to run sales on Poshmark and that's fine, especially with that new shoppers feature where you can like see your previous customers and you can communicate easily with people through bundles, that might be the way to go. Um, me personally, just from years past, I am choosing this year to not run a sale on Poshmark. I have found in the past, it ends up being a lot of work. You you find yourself very tied to your phone, trying to message every single person that likes your item or shows interest in your closet. And it's a lot of work. It's a lot of being glued to your phone. 
and I didn't make a ton of extra sales doing that. So I think this year my approach is going to be, you know, send offers like I normally do. I might send more generous offers than I normally do for the weekend. I'll certainly be accepting offers all weekend, but I'm not going to put a lot of my time into running a sale on Poshmark because it's a lot of manual work. Now, a site like eBay, I absolutely am going to run a sale in my eBay store because that's automated. There's two ways on eBay to run a sale. Number one, you can just put a discount on all your stuff and say, you know, 50% off all items. You can even on eBay put parameters around, I only want to put on sale this category or I only want to um, put on sale items that have been listed for more than X amount of days. I love that feature on eBay. I can move older inventory or discount older inventory at a deeper rate than my new arrivals. And that's really, really awesome. You can also use a coupon code for eBay, which I plan on doing for my Instagram. And actually it'll test it. So I will see how many eBay sales actually come from social media because only somebody that knows to use that code would get that discount. eBay is great for that. That's one thing I love about eBay is that ability to run those kind of sales. The manual sales though, I'm not so much about. Now, some people find a lot of success doing that. Um, go for it. If you think that you want to try doing a sale on Poshmark or Mercari or whatever, just know that it, it's a lot of manual work. It may not give you the return that you're expecting, depending on what you're selling, depending on what kinds of items you have. Black Friday weekend might actually be a little bit of a disappointment for you. Um, depending on what your expectations are, right? Like we're all talking like sales, sales, everybody's buying stuff. But do keep in mind though, you are competing with like online retailers, big box stores, you know, everybody is running a sale. You know, every single JCPenney, Target, Kohl's, Best Buy, everybody is giving their best prices of the whole year. So you are actually competing with big box retailers this weekend. And if you're selling used clothing like I am, you know, like a lot of us do, we're thrifters, we sell used clothing or we sell liquidation merchandise, that may not necessarily be what people are shopping for this weekend. So do keep that in mind. I have found in the past that my Black Friday sales or like my Black Friday weekend sales are not anything exciting. In fact, there's been a few years where I've been straight up disappointed because I have this huge expectation of just massive sales because everybody's shopping. But just do know that the reality is, you know, everybody's shopping, but they might not be shopping for what you have. So um, don't panic, though. Don't panic. I will say that typically my sales increase again, usually the week after. So like Cyber Monday, through like that week, now people are looking for the stuff they couldn't find or that was sold out, or now they've gotten all their Christmas shopping out of the way and they want to buy some things for themselves. So be patient, don't panic, but don't expect that you're going to just have this crazy, um, you know, flood of sales because you might not. Make sure to set yourself up for success, you know, be available for questions and send offers and cross post the heck out of everything everywhere. You can set yourself up to have the best possible Black Friday weekend. I can't stress enough. Be prepared to accept offers. Shoppers are savvy. They know how to look for a good deal. And yes, you're going to get lowball offers. And yes, you are going to have people try to haggle you. You have to decide for yourself, do you want to make these sales or not? This might be an opportunity to move some items that haven't been moving for you or really, really, really capitalize on the season. But just remember, people are looking for a deal. So make sure that when you're pricing, you check comps or even if you price a little bit higher because you do run sales, if that's your model, that's your model. But just make sure that you are when you're considering offers or when you're sending offers, make sure you're in line with the market. You're going to set yourself up for the best possible chance of a sale if you are pricing competitively and you are sometimes accepting offers that you maybe wouldn't the rest of the year. So do keep that in mind as well. Um, be willing to let it go. Do you want to make the sale or not, right? Be willing to let it go. 
So that's it for me. Just a, a fun couple of tips for you guys as far as what you expect this weekend. I can't wait to hear how everybody's weekend goes. If this is not your first Black Friday weekend, let me know in the comments something that you do that's really helpful or a tip that you could share with a new reseller that would help make this Black Friday weekend a little bit more fruitful or a little bit more exciting. So I would definitely love to hear what your guys' tips are. Also, again, subscribe to my channel if you like content like this or if you want to hear more about you know what works for my reseller business. I will be sharing a lot more content in the future. And drop me a like if you found this helpful. That would really help me out a lot. Happy Thanksgiving and I wish you much success and have fun this weekend with your sales. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.